OK, ready for some more questions? First up, it's over to Channel 4's Newsmeister General, John Snow, with a special report on one of this year's biggest songs. But which one is it? Over to you, John. A 26-year-old Canadian woman has been arrested for harassment after accosting a man she had just met and encouraging him to contact her by telephone. A key witness said that she made salacious remarks regarding the man's ripped jeans, noting that his skin was showing. <laughs> she went on to offer pennies, dimes and her soul in exchange for a kiss and a wish, then informed the man that she had missed him so, so bad prior to knowing him. The woman denied having mental health issues but admitted to police that her actions could be construed as crazy. <laughs> Surely someone has just flicked over to Channel 4 as yeah. that came on. That must be an amazing... Yeah. What's going on? It's disconcerting. Hearing him talk about music, it's like having Bruce Forsyth explain angry birds to you or something. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't go together. OK, next question. After seeking counselling from a Jamaican high priest, and who doesn't, what did Snoop Dogg do this year? A Jamaican high priest is just a priest. <laughs> They're all high. <laughs> <laughs> He's a massive fan of Coronation Street. He wants to build a rover's return in LA. Well, how high do you have to be before you make that decision? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I like bitches and I like hoes, but not as much as I like Ken Barlow. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so time for another guest question from none other than pop princess uh, Kylie Minogue. Kylie. Kylie, oh, yeah. Hi, Jimmy. This year, fellow songstress Sarah Brightman announced that she was going to be the first singer to do what? OK, so Sarah Brightman announced this year she was going to have an amazing first. What was it going to be? Susan Boyle released her fourth album this year, Standing Ovation, the greatest love songs from the stage. But what ill-judged Twitter hashtag were fans uh, encouraged to use to promote the record? It's such a lovely noise when everyone is it. I, I remember that. <laughs> and for our final question, it's over to none other than Cheryl Cole. Hi, everyone. Now, back in January, Beyoncé gave birth, but I was wondering if any of you could tell me what her and Gizé named their first baby daughter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Oh, ah, yeah. There's my man. Thank you so much. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long show, Jimmy. So we ordered some food. Is that okay? Jimmy, with me. <laughs> what do you mean you ordered food? Love... We ordered you... food in. How did you order? What do you mean you, you ordered food? Yeah. Think about your fellow contestants. We ordered some food. No, because you you mocked our suits. <laughs> do you, the, you actually ordered food in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. It's a long... <laughs> <laughs> that is the best piece of planning if I've anyone, ever seen. If anyone tunes in and sees this, they're going to think Downton Abbey's gone very down market. <laughs> That's really not fair. It looks so good. Yeah, you're not even sharing. Do you know what you need to do? No. Get over it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, classic chord. OK, uh, Jon Snow reported on one of the biggest songs of the year. Did anyone work out what it was? It was um, Kylie Ray Jepsen, Call Me Maybe. OK, did you, Russell, Jonathan? We got the same. OK, and we Richard, got Gabby? Baby. <laughs> Call Me Baby, maybe. Call Me Baby, yeah. yeah and you got. Came into my life. I miss you so bad. So bad, so bad. Like a couple of fucking lords have rocked up to Pete. <laughs> 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 like, Let's have a listen. So call me baby. Hey, I just <laughs> miss you. It was tough being underground, but then there were times, like now, <laughs> when I'm pleased I was. <laughs> Did you not love that song? It's the best song that's ever been written. I have seen the video, and the video is great, because yeah. at the end, the guy's bloody gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'd not seen a twist like that since Smack My Bitch Up Prodigy. <laughs> To be fair, though, if, yes, if you gave your number out to a girl, pretty girl like that, Sorry, and then you discovered that she was as annoying as Kylie Rae Jepsen, you'd suck a cock to get rid of her. 
<laughs> Jack, you don't have to suck cocks to get rid of people. <laughs> <laughs> Just say it's Break not those working Those are the out. rules, though. Leave Break and the habit. wait. Every time you leave a room, it's like... <laughs> 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 Late. I've got another meeting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, can you, can you please stop ball? neglecting the balls when you do that? <laughs> How difficult is that? Like How difficult is that? <laughs> Don't tell me what to do while I'm sucking your cock, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it was, of course, Carly Ray Jepsen, call me maybe. Um, okay, next up, I asked you, what did Snoop Dogg do this year after consulting with the Jamaican high priest? Did anyone get this? Well, we thought the dog thing, and it's something I had done to my dog. We thought he got spayed. <laughs> You thought Snoop Dogg got spayed this year? Yeah, or, new, or neutered, whichever way you neutered, want to call yeah. it. Jonathan, we, Russell, what did you get? We, I knew he changed his name. I thought it was to Pudsy Bear, but it wasn't. And uh, Russell knew it was a lion. I saw him, he, was, he does like a kid's thing, doesn't he? He does like a song for children, dressed as the Rastafari lion. The Lion King of Rastafari or something like that. Yeah, he's now called Snoop Lion. Is Snoop Lion. That is, that is his full name. Richard, Gabby, what did Snoop Dogg do <laughs> after consulting with the Jamaican high priest? Yeah, his tax. <laughs> Richard, that was me. <laughs> you did not do your tax. <laughs> uh, Gabby, what did you uh, do? Same as these guys, Snoop Lion, I think is the name that he adopted, wasn't it? That is exactly the right answer. He changed his name to Snoop Lion. So you Snoop get a point, Lion. you get a point, you do not get a point. OK, Kylie asked you uh, about Sarah Brightman's plans for the future. What did you put? She's going to become a pirate. <laughs> Not like copying DVDs, like actual pirates. <laughs> become a real pirate, like kidnapping pirates. old people. She's just going to go all at it. What do you she's... think? I think she's going to visit Andrew Lloyd Webber's home planet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is devilishly close. I think she's going to go grey naturally. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to go grey naturally. And what, what did you put? Sing in space. That is the right answer. Wow. What? She's what? Sing in space. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Sarah Bryman announced that she's to receive a Russian cosmonaut training in order to become the first singer in space. Richard Iowadi, ladies and gentlemen, Thank has you. got one right. <laughs> OK, I asked you what unusual Twitter hashtag fans of Susan Boyle were encouraged <laughs> to use. <laughs> what did you think? Loves it in the arse. <laughs> <laughs> James, James, James Corden, James Corden. Why won't you take this seriously? Jack <laughs> 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 okay, Whitehall, you will not be allowed to sing James Corden in the future. We're not far off the answer. We're not. Far off the answer. <laughs> We're not. How do you know? <laughs> and you don't know that yes. she doesn't. You can't. <laughs> Hashtag. <laughs> what is it? Tell me, James. I can't Tell me, James. It. This is where I do myself in, and I forget we're recording this, and it's going to be on TV. <laughs> I just think we're having a great time eating pizza. <laughs> you, you won a Tony Award. And she clearly loves it in the <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, what, what, what did you go for, Richard? Gabby. Hashtag. Be more racist. <laughs> To promote her album, you thought it was yeah, hashtag... Yeah, it, it didn't work. That's... No, no. Well, no, I said, I said unusual, and that would be... Yeah, it's unusual. Well, it's certainly unusual. Wrong, I believe you can say. You've got a bloody album to sell. You do what you can. <laughs> <laughs> Gabby, what did, what did you find on your side of the board? Uh, Susan album party. So it looks like Sue's anal bomb party. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Telling me that Sue is having an anal bum party and not enjoying it. Can I just say, can I just say <laughs> it would be great if they are right, though, wouldn't it? If Because if, 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 it was Susan uh, album party, but if it was Sue's anal bum party and people turned up expecting <laughs> music and it was just boil with a load of lube just going. It could be. <laughs> But all bums, what bums aren't anal? I mean, there's a redundancy within the hashtag. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's true. The redundancy yeah, yeah. within the hashtag. <laughs> and that should be the name of your anusless bum <laughs> is not a bum, it's a back. Thank you, Jack. Correct. And there's a fact. <laughs> the answer was, of course, uh, hashtag Sue's <laughs> anal bum party, which could be misread <laughs> as <laughs> Susan album party. <laughs> Next, Cheryl Cole asked you the name of Beyonce and Jay-Z's baby. What do you all put? Well, we didn't know if the child was going to be named after 
with Jay-Z's second name or Beyonce's. Oh. So if it's Beyonce's, we think they call it Nick. So it's Nick Knowles. <laughs> after the, the, the world's greatest <laughs> DIY expert. And if it's after Jay-Z, they'd call it A2. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, OK, what, what did you go for, Russell Johnson? I know the answer, just because I think it's brilliant. She's called Blue Ivy. And the reason why I love that is because she sounds like a northern prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Blue Ivy. Who wants a hand job? Do you know what I mean? Because <laughs> <laughs> I know Blue Ivy, that's on the Farrow and Ball paint chart. I think he's just, he's just what he wants to paint his bedroom as. <laughs> Richard, I noticed you've just put an arrow. Yeah, <laughs> I've, I've started just putting an arrow towards Gabby's answers because it's really what we go for in the end. <laughs> Did I get Carter right? Is Car oh, I just imagined Carter. Blue Ivy Carter. That is the right answer. You can call your kid whatever you want if you're cool, as cool as Jay-Z. It's like David Beckham. You can call his kid whatever he wants because you're going to get away with it. It's going to be tough at school. <laughs> for a bit. No, Jay-Z's Jay 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 your dad. Jay-Z's Jay Jay your dad, dad. and Beyonce's your mum. School is an absolute joy. Yeah. <laughs> this, this, you're untouchable. Try going to school if your mum's an assistant social worker and your dad is a Christian book salesman. <laughs> <laughs> Four stone overweight. <laughs> that, my friend, ain't no holiday. <laughs> okay, time now for another quick uh, bonus round. This time it's about the year's movies. I'm going to show you pictures from three of my favourite films this year, all of which have been subtly improved. All I want you to do is name the films. Here we go. So, first one. <laughs> Great. Uh, that, that's really actually good. from my audition piece for that film. I didn't get the part, but, you know, down to the final two. Uh, the next one. <laughs> you look like you're enjoying that. You're pretending you're not, but you're having a good time there, Jimmy. Look at that. I'm having a great time, yeah. <laughs> We're going to die hard. <laughs> <laughs> OK, and the final one. There I am. <laughs> that's just horrible. <laughs> have you all got uh, three yeah. answers? Yeah. yeah. What, what have you got? Hunger Games Looper Magic Mike. Boom. Hunger Games Looper Magic Mike. You got Hunger Games Looper Magic Mike. Let's have a look at how it sh should have looked. So I was standing in for Jennifer yeah. Lawrence in Hunger Games. That's me as Joseph Gordon Levitt in Looper and uh, Channing Tatum in uh, Magic Mike. Points all round. There you go. Good. So let's have a look and see how that's affected the scores. Uh, James and Jack have six points. Russell and Jonathan have 17 points. Richard and Gabby still in the lead with 22 points. We're going to take a short break, but don't go away.